Hi everyone, I'm Meryn and welcome back to my channel. Fiji is a romantic paradise situated in the Pacific Ocean. And today, I'm going to be your travel guide to Fiji. So in this video, I'm going to cover your transport, your visa process, accommodation, the food, and not to forget the most important thing, budget. So let's not delay anything and let's get started. To begin with, let's talk about visa process for Indians. So basically, we are really lucky because we don't really require a visa to travel to Fiji unless you stay for more than 12 days. So what happens if you stay for more than 12 days? Do not worry, you just have to apply for a permit based on how long your duration of stay is going to be. So there is their online portal at which you can register and apply for this permit. So the link is going to be flashing on the screen at the same time I'll have this link dropped to the description box below. So you can check it out and apply for your permit if you're staying for longer than 12 days. The currency of Fiji is Fijian dollars and currently the value for Fijian dollar against rupee value is around 35 rupees approximately. Another thing to note is that Fijian people also accept US dollars or AUD. So what I did was we majorly used up AUD and USD so we didn't really convert much until towards the end of the days when we really required Fijian dollars and we converted it directly in uh, Fiji. So now how do we get to Fiji from India? So there are multiple flights that are flying out from major of the metro cities from India. But if you want to think about the best valued ticket price, you would basically have to fly either from Chennai or Kolkata because they are closest to the southern hemisphere. As for the internal transportation, there are buses and taxis available in Fiji and they are easily accessible. Uh, what I did was I actually booked a taxi with our accommodation for a day tour whichever required us to go a little out of our hotel for transfers to different islands you can easily take any boat or ferry ride from the port Denaru which is quite close to Nadi and I will tell you all the prices for how much exactly it costed me for travel uh, in, internally in Fiji later in the video there are a few traditional Fijian style of cooking and one of the most popular one is called Lobo so Lobo is nothing but an underground oven that is used to cook and it's got a very different style of cooking and this is something you should definitely experience in Fiji. They also have a mix of seafood and a lot of coconut based uh, variety of food that they usually cook and you don't have to worry about vegetarian food because they also have a lot of intake of local vegetables such as cassava which are like uh, stem and root plants which you would definitely enjoy to eat. Now along with this, the another major uh, and great part about Fijians is that the ancestral part comes from India. So there are something called as Fijian Indians. So basically Fijian Indians are people whose ancestors belong to India and traveled to Fiji long time ago. So because of this, they have a lot of influence of Indian cuisine in their daily life. So if you're going to be missing home food and if you want to just not risk anything and not experience different food at all, you can just stick to the basic and everything you want is going to be available for you. So the next thing I want to cover is accommodation. So now accommodation, there's everything that Fiji can offer to every traveler that wants. You want extremely budget friendly hostels, that is available for you as well. But say you don't want to stay in a hostel yet you want to experience true Fiji culture that is also available and that comes in the mid range of hotels and at the same time say you want to literally be there like feel like you're a king and queen of that island and have like a secluded cottage just for yourself well that also is available in Fiji so this is a big treat for all kinds of travelers it's a traveler's dream to be here because starting from the most budget friendly accommodations to the most expensive ones you will always find what is the best suited one for you so I basically stayed in a club Fiji resort in Nadi for four days and that costed us about $50 a night for two people but how much of Fiji can you really cover in four days so let's find out so first and foremost, Nadi has a famous uh, garden called the uh, Garden of the Sleeping Giant and it's extremely green and lush and you can definitely check it out. It'll take you about 45 minutes to cover the entire place and they have beautiful orchids. So if you love orchids, 
this garden you cannot miss they also give you a nice refreshing drink after your entire tour and that's also really a part of it and it comes with the entry ticket so other than that the next thing i would suggest to try is the fiji culture village history and culture is most important thing about any country you visit and the F fiji culture village will tell you everything that you need to know about fiji talking about how they came up to become the fijians their history how they grew up from being what uh, like you know using uh, living in huts made of straws to what they are today and that is something that is very interesting and this is where you can also experience the traditional food that i said called lobo because this fiji village that you would be attending will also provide you dinner in the traditionally laid out lobo uh, way and you can actually see them cooking it before so what they do is they take you and show you show it to you how they lay out the food in the lobo oven and how it's made and then they have their activities their different traditional dances and programs and by the time the food is cooked and then they serve you the dinner so this is something that you can definitely try and the third thing is that fiji has a lot of volcanoes as well and that's because because of that they also have natural hot springs so i went to one called as tifajak hot springs i'll have the name below in description as well so first you have a mud bath and then you relax into the natural hot spring and it's really soothing and very interesting after this obviously without doubt fiji is famous for its beaches so i'm not going to say that that is not the main highlight and one of the things that i did was i took a cruise from port denaro to a private island called tewa island so this was a part of the captain cook cruises and you can check it out i'll have the link below in description for the same so what they do is they take you out they pick you from your hotel stay wherever you are they take you by the boats and they take you to secluded islands that locals don't really stay there overnight and you will have a lot of fun we saw baby sharks and it was crazy and they also provide you lunch they provide you snacks and the entire boat ride is filled with so many activities you can try out their traditional kava in the boat ride and, and along with the boat cruise to private islands they also have boat cruise which are called sunset cruises which is something i also tried out and that was another experience altogether the fiji sunset is so beautiful and imagine uh, experiencing that in the middle of the ocean it is so surreal and along with that the beautiful melody of fijian music and their people laughing and the activities that they put for you and the most delicious food that you would have so basically i would definitely tell you that you can check out the sunset cruise as well as day tours now there are multiple day tours that run from port denaro or any other port that you're living in based on which island or accommodation you're staying in where they take you to multiple private islands and most of these island tours they come with free snorkeling so that's something that they give you gadgets for so you don't even have to carry your own snorkeling tools or items they provide you with everything in fact you can also try scuba diving there and they provide you with the instructor this is something that i did all in 4 days and to be really frank with you i think you would require a minimum of 7 days stay about a week to truly enjoy and have a really relaxing time for me i felt like fiji just ended so suddenly like it, i was having fun every single day there was not a single minute where i wasn't doing something new to meet fijian indians also was quite an interesting thing because as much as we're the same there's so much difference also between us and that was something really interesting to learn about there are so many islands in fiji that you cannot really cover it in a day or two so if you really want to cover all of it probably you can go for a longer stay even uh so to end this i want to just talk about the budget overall so i would suggest that per day basis maybe around 7000 rupees a day is what i would estimate this is keeping in mind that you're staying in a mid range hotel so if you're staying in something like a a hostel it will be much lesser and if you're staying in a luxury resort it will be much more but this is inclusive of all the activities the transfer fares the food and of your drinks if you consume consume alcohol there and the flight tickets from india start between 60000 return fare so for 4 day overall you'll be spending around 89000 that is how much my entire trip costed so thank you so much for watching and do subscribe to my channel for more uh, tips on different travel locations and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i'll put something out in the description if i missed anything if you have any doubts do comment below thank you